What is going on lads? Welcome to my World Cup predictions video. So I want to hear you guys uh, thoughts and who you think is going to win the World Cup because I, I don't know man, I know there's a lot of drama with it, I know there's a lot of stuff that goes with this World Cup. It's going to be super weird, genuinely. I think it's going to be a super weird time to have the World Cup, obviously in the middle of the season, leading up to Christmas and stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be very, very different. But still, I think when the, the, kick, the matches kick off, Hopefully players are fresher because they haven't played a full season. Um, hopefully players are up for it. Like, you know, that they're they're mad to win a World Cup because you've got Messi, you've got Ronaldo, you've got a couple of other players that might not get to another... I mean, they're not going to play another World Cup. This is probably their, their last one. Um, so, yeah, and even players like Neymar and stuff, you don't know if he's going to be there again. So I do think that we are going to have a predictor here. We are on this website, bn.com, predict... And we're going to select our group winner and runner up. Then we're going to head into the round of 16, all the way to the final. I'm going to have a couple of controversial choices, lads, because I always have a, a few crazy picks. But we're also going to have who I think is going to get golden boot, golden ball, and young player of the tournament. So, yeah, let me know your uh, picks in the comments below as well. Um, and yeah, we maybe we'll do a giveaway for if somebody picks everything, like winner, golden ball, everything, if somebody gets it right. But yeah, look, there's a lot to get through here, right? Looking at some of the teams uh, here in this Ultimate Tournament Guide, uh, this was where originally the eFootball cards uh, came from. Like, some of the teams, man, and some of the squads that they've announced are absolutely insane. Like, Brazil, obviously, are probably the favourites. I would say Brazil, Argentina. I'd never discount France. But I have a couple of picks that I think, yeah, could be could could have a massive tournament. I just would think, would think with everything going on, um, you know, and kind of coming in under the radar with no real pressure on them compared to like Argentina, Brazil, and even, you know, France, uh, Spain are due a big World Cup as well. But yeah, we are going to kind of reference this as well. Um, but yeah, the groups should be fairly, fairly straightforward. I think there will be one or two upsets, but I think that they will be fairly straightforward. So the first upset I'm going to go with is I'm actually going to go with Ecuador to top the group and Netherlands to come runners up. Now, this is, uh, yeah, I think this is probably a bit of a crazy one because it obviously means that you're going to have uh, in Group C, I think it's going to happen. Argentina are going to top that group. And then I would potentially say that Mexico could cause an upset, but their squad, I don't think it's good enough. I think Poland and Lewandowski will score a couple of goals. I think they'll get in. And then in Group B, look, England, there is a lot of pressure on them. I think from talking to a lot of my English friends, they seem to think that this is going to be, you know, Southgate's kind of downfall and that with the squad that he picked, I still think they've got a serious uh, chance of getting in, you know, deep into this. Um, and my prediction is that they will have a good run. But yeah, it will be interesting to see if Harry Kane is on his game. I think he could be absolutely incredible um, because he's going to need to score. And if maybe, you know, it depends on the referee and of it. Are they going to just be like blown for everything? Will there be a lot of penalties? I think Harry Kane could score a lot of goals that way. So look, I do think that in Group B, I think England are going to win that one. And then, sorry to all my USA friends, but I do think that Wales are going to get through. I know it's not the strongest Wales team, but I just think that with this group, it's going to suit them. I think if they were in with a different group, I think Wales might not get out of the group. But I do think that they'll grit out a result against England and the USA. Um, so I do think that they will get through there. And then for Group D, look, everyone's waiting for France to implode. The amount of injuries they have... It's like, yeah, I mean, they're missing so many players. Kempembe is now gone. Kante, Pogba. And I know Pogba is not an amazing player for United when he was there, but he has been unbelievable for France when they won that World Cup. And, you know, they've just been dominating um, for the last couple of years when they had their starting 11, like, set. So I think those losses of personnel are going to be huge. But I still do think France are going to get in. And I think Denmark are going to be a surprise package as well. I mean, people seem to be sleeping on... Denmark, obviously we know how they got on in the Euros, and I think that they will, um, you know, come out of that group. Obviously, it's going to be a tough group. Australia are always tough, uh, but I think that their squad isn't good enough to threaten the two of those teams. Now, Group E is very interesting as well. We could have our first upset in Group E if Spain and Germany don't get out of the group, because there's always shocks in the group. I would not be surprised if Japan got out of this group. Like, if you look at um, if you look at this, this the, the Japanese squad... They have got a lot of young players, but they have got some very, very nice players that are playing well for their respective clubs. You know, they've got three or four really decent players in good positions. Now, do I think that they'll have enough firepower 
to score goals past Spain and Germany. I mean, Spain are kind of struggling at the moment, I think, with picking their best 11, having a proper, proper squad. But again, you still have the usual suspects in the Spanish side that if they do play um, this predicted 11 that we have here, I mean, it's a good team. It's a good team. You've got Laporte, you've got Torres, you've got Aspilicueta, kind of in like a back three uh, centre-backs. If they were playing e-football, they'd be playing three centre-backs and then Jordi Alba on the left, they'd be playing the meta. But it's goals, man. I just don't know if Spain are going to score that many goals. Can they stop goals going in and maybe win 1-0 or get a couple of draws to get out of the group stage? I think they will. So I think Germany are going to win the group and Spain are going to come second. There's no um, upset to be had there, I don't think. But yeah, I genuinely think that there could be an upset um, if 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 Spain can't score goals. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Japan or Costa Rica got through that group. Group F and Group G, uh, we have here and then Group H. So these three groups are kind of difficult enough, right? I think that there is, just bear with me here, right? Just bear with me on this one because this is going to be kind of a tough group uh, to pick with the Group H. In terms of Ghana, I think are due a massive tournament. They've got a serious team, man. Like, they're so athletic. Um, they've got really, really good players. Oh, that's Senegal. Sorry, lads. Uh, that's Ghana. They've got some really good players. I think that they're young. They're fit. They've got some very, very nice players and very interesting options uh, to have there as well. Like, I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. That's a tough group because Korea in that group then as well with Sun. They've got some nice players as well. I think there will be an upset in one of the groups. Obviously, Uruguay are kind of waiting there as well. I think that's a very tough group that people are kind of overlooking. Um, but I think that the upset is going to come in Group G. I think, obviously, Brazil are going to top it. But I think Cameroon are going to get out of that group. That's going to be my prediction there. And then I think in this group, we're going to have Portugal. And I think we're going to have Uruguay. And then I think also in this group, we're going to have a small upset here. Um, this is just kind of my opinion on it. I think Belgium are not going to win this group. I think Belgium will do well in the next round, but I think that Croatia are just going to roll back the years. Modric, one of the best players ever. I think that they'll score goals. I think Belgium will struggle early doors. And I think that when it comes down to it, I think Croatia will get that result they need against Belgium. So yeah, no real shocks, I don't think, here, apart from maybe Ecuador topping the group over Netherlands and then Poland maybe getting through over Mexico, which isn't really a shock. But I think, yeah, we've gone for a lot of safe options here. Maybe Cameroon over Serbia will be a bit of a shock. But on to the round of 16. Right, so on to the round of 16. We've got some very interesting ties here. Um, this is where I think it gets kind of interesting, right? So I think that uh, starting at the top, I think Ecuador will have a good run in this tournament. Sorry, Wales fans. I do... Uh, no, actually, do you know what? I think if it actually comes down to that, I think Wales would actually beat... Ecuador. That is a bit of a shock, I suppose. I think Wales could do it. I think Bale is due a big tournament. I know he's not playing at the best standard of football now, but I think he could do it. I think Argentina, Denmark will cause them serious problems if that matchup does happen. But I do think Messi is going to, he's just going to be amazing this tournament. Hopefully he's fresh. He's ready for it. Netherlands and England. I do think that England will, will, will carve out a, a win there. That's going to be a cracker of a match if we do get that. And then also on top of that then as well, we would have France versus Poland. I think France, look, France are going to struggle in this tournament defensively, I think, and in midfield because they're young. But I do think the firepower, Mbappe and Benzema on the farm, they're on unbelievable. And then Dembele and Griezmann to back them up. Germany versus Belgium. I think Belgium would win that game. And then Brazil versus Uruguay. We're going to have Brazil coming in there. We're also going to have... Croatia beating Spain, I think that would probably be the potential tie there. If it's Spain, no, look, I think Spain would get through it. I think Spain will get through it, and I also think Portugal will get through there. So, this is leading us into the quarter final stage, which I think Wales fans would be delighted with that getting a chance to play and uh, compete against Argentina with Lionel Messi probably on top four by then. Like, Argentina are super solid at the back, lads, super solid. But look, Quick fire prediction here, Argentina, Brazil, France, and Portugal. That would be my predictions of that, all the right side of the table there. Argentina, Brazil semi-final, France, Portugal, unbelievable. And this is where it gets, it gets a bit uh, controversial for me, lads, right? I know Brazil and Argentina are both favourites. I think they'll take the best out of each other if it does end up here. I think the wily Portuguese squad will beat France if it gets if they get to a semi-final. I think with everything going on with Ronaldo, I think it'll either galvanise them or it'll destroy them. And I think they're being slept on, man. I mean, if you look at Portugal's squad, 
oh my days, right? If they get out of the group, obviously anything can happen. But with once they get out of that group, and if they top the group and avoid any, like, you know, really, really tough game, like Cancelo, Diaz, Pepe obviously is a bit old, but they have your man Silva, that guy, the new guy, uh, who's very young and he's a beast. Mendes, like they have so many options. And then attack-wise, like Silva, Ronaldo, Fernandes, and uh, Rafael Liao, like who's like mini Mbappe, like absolutely unbelievable options on the bench. They've got Santos, who's a wily manager as well. They've got a lot of options. They've got a lot of players that they can bring on. I think that could be the, the surprise package. It wouldn't be a massive surprise, and I do think that if we get to a semi-final, I think Brazil will just pip Messi's Argentina. I think that Argentina are very, very good, solid defensively. But I do think that Brazil will have one over in Argentina. Setting up a third place between the two boys. I think Argentina will win that one. And I think Portugal are going to win it, lads. So that is my prediction. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I probably am. That is probably, uh, probably going to be a crazy one. Yeah, so that is my ultimate ultimate winning team for that am i kind of romanticizing portugal a little bit like with bruno being there um and looking at the players yeah i probably am uh but i just think that that would be that could be what shakes out i just think ronaldo lads if he pops off today i think he's going to be angry or if he pops off in this tournament i think he'll be pissed off i think he'll be frustrated i think he'll want to show everybody how good he is and I think that they'll get a lot of chances for him that he will actually finish. I think it'll just click for him. And if it does, he could finish with the golden boot. He could finish as a champ or a, as a World Cup winner. But yeah, it would be brilliant to see Messi win one uh, as well. I'd love to see Neymar win one. Look, if you're a football fan, all you want, because Ireland aren't in it, uh, I'm going to be going for anybody once they're exciting. France, I wouldn't begrudge them. I think we will get a surprise package or two that could follow through. I mean, Croatia could very easily uh, get through. I think Belgium could also beat Brazil on their day. Uh, there's a lot of options there. Uruguay could beat Brazil on their day if they fire. Denmark could beat Argentina. So there's a lot of options there. But that is it. And then last but not least, we do have my prediction. So Portugal to win. Messi, I think, for the golden boot. I think they'll score a lot in the group stage all the way up to the Brazil match. And I think that could be like a 2-0 or 2-1 or maybe 3-2 or something like that. Golden ball, I think we're going to give it to Neymar. I think he's going to have an amazing tournament with assists and goals and just magic moments. And young player, even though France will go out in the, in the semi-final, I'm going to go with Camavinga. So let's look. It is easy to go with France, uh, Bel or France, Argentina, or Brazil, but we have gone for a bit of a crazy choice with Portugal. With the squad they have, it wouldn't be unbelievable if they do go on and do it. But yeah, if they can stay fit, if Pepe can actually give them some good minutes, and if they can get some production off the bench with their young players coming in, defensively, I think this World Cup is going to be decided by who can actually concede the less amount of goals rather than it being a free-flowing uh, contest. So yeah, that is my prediction, lads. Uh, let me know yours and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.